Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to On Staten Borough. Uh, it's with great pleasure that I welcome you to Alison Lewis's exhibition here today, and uh, great to see a terrific crowd, and also thank you to those that have joined in the fun for the golf. Um, Alison uh, is someone I've known for a long time, and I'm proud to say we have one of Alison's paintings in our hallway at home, and another one which we treasure in our place at Port Wollonga and I've always admired her work and her diversity of work. And uh, I'll hand over to Alison. Thank you, Alison. Can I hold your drink? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. From the onset of my coming to live in Onstat, where David has been encouraging me to exhibit. And I have now taken the plunge. <laughs> the title of the urban gum refers to the fact that having found these ancient 500-year-old gums growing in very constrained circumstances. I was excited by the compositional opportunities afforded by their situations. The three, chi <coughs> three trees, that's two glasses of wine. <laughs> the three trees I have chosen are all within a small radius of Alexander. I'm pleased and thankful that I had the opportunity to paint. And now, thanks to the owners and management of Alexander to show my work. You will see that there is a signed auction for the five works that are available for sale in a book on here on this table. The winning bidders will be notified on September 30th, and the proceeds will be divided between the Salvation Army, the Smith family, and World Vision. Very generous. But I am only one of a number of artists from a variety of disciplines who live here. I have colonized the passage on the ground floor of building four where I live with my paintings. On the second floor, Mike Sweeney has done the same with his work. And on the third floor, the walls are hung with paintings by Ron Adams of Victor Harbour fame, whose widow, Andrea, is now married to Chris Kelly, and she plays and teaches the viola. To add to the variety of artists in building four, in the basement, the garage, Marjorie Moninger has a wheel where she throws pots. <laughs> management having found a place for her to work. Furthermore, within the complex we have two very notable needlewomen, Barbara Rowney and Gwen Noblet, whose award-winning work was shown in the hall a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. There are singers and poets meeting regularly. Videos on climate change or similar issues have been shown privately, accompanied by a meal, leading to some very interesting philosophical discussions. An eminent mathematician and ex-teacher are coaching pupils. In short, it is not too long a shot to imagine that this community may develop in the manner in which the Bloomsbury group did when they were in the Charleston farmhouse. The arts and the sciences and intellectual pursuits have no age limit. Thank you, David and Helen, for making the venue available and providing refreshments and pip. Much enough to do. You made it patiently <laughs> and good humouredly typed and retyped what you see here. <coughs> and my most sincere thanks to Colin Bergen from the Art Images Gallery on Lord Parade, who has been so supportive in making the show possible, installing the picture rails and hanging the paintings. If you would like to come to Building 4 after the party and see the work hanging in the passages, and also in my apartment, which is number 93, you would be most welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Alison. Well done, and congratulations on your exhibition. And please stay on and enjoy the afternoon. Thank you very much. Well done. Lovely speech.